Skills Future Singapore, or SSG, which is the statutory board in charge of skills upgrading here, will soon be able to investigate and prosecute those who try to defraud it as well as those who misrepresent SSG-funded courses. Now, the move comes after a number of high-profile cases involving millions of dollars that were stolen through bogus claims. Minister of State for Manpower and Education, Gan Xiao Huang, says that the changes are meant to boost SSG's limited ability to deal with abuse. She cited examples of false ad advertising, such as courses claiming to lead to a government-issued diploma when they, in fact, would not. Ms. Gunn says that such situations could mislead people and, if left unaddressed, could undermine public confidence in the skills future movement. Those convicted of abusing SSG's funding can soon be slapped with fines of up to $10,000, three years jail, and a penalty equal to the amount wrongly obtained. The government's continued investment in skills future is critical given that lifelong learning and employability is a new pillar under our social compact. With the increasing pace of change in industries and jobs brought about by automation and digitalization, we must continue to prepare Singapore workforce for the future economy. To do so, we need to strengthen the quality of the training and adult education ecosystem, including stepping up our legislative levers.